Now we'll discuss why drain current becomes constant in saturation region. As we know, a MOSFET can be operated either in cutoff region, active region or saturation region. Condition for cutoff region is VGS less than VT. If the gate to source voltage is less than threshold voltage, at that time there is no current flows because of no channel formation. Even if you apply drain to source voltage also, there is no drain current results. That's why the twist rate is cut off. Second case is nothing but active region. That is also called as linear or triode region. Where VGS is greater than VT, that ensures channel is formed and VDS is less than VGS minus VT. So, a current exists and drain current is function of VGS as well as VDS. As VDS increases, ID also increases. And saturation region, condition for saturation region is VGS should be greater than VT and VDS should be greater than or equal to VGS minus VT. First, for small VDS in active region, what we have taken is for small VDS, as VDS increases, electric field increases. Electric field increases, drift velocity of charge carriers increases. Drift velocity of charge carriers increases, current density of charge carriers increases. So, current increases. ID is going to be increasing in this case. So, this is what happening in active region. In active region, VDS is small and that is less than VGS minus VT. So, as VDS increases, electric field in the channel increases drift velocity of charge carriers in the channel increases and current density of charge carriers increases so current due to charge carriers is increases but all these things are going to be valid only when mobility of charge carriers is constant mu mu implies nothing but mobility of charge carriers when mobility of charge carriers is constant then only v is equal to mu into electric field that mu is constant so that V directly proportional to electric field. So as electric field increases, velocity of charge carriers increases, that results in large current density, that results in large current. But mu is function of electric field. It is no more constant as we assumed. Mu is a function of electric field. How mu is relating to electric field? That we will see first. From that one we will ensure that drain current is constant in saturation region. Dependence of mu and electric field. Mobility is constant if the electric field is less than 10 power 3 volt per centimeter. And mobility is depending on electric field in this way. Mu is proportional to 1 by square root of epsilon that is electric field. That to when electric field is in the region of 10 power 3 to 10 power 4 volt per meter. If the electric field is greater than 10 power 4 volt per centimeter, at that time mobility is directly proportional to 1 by electric field. So for large VDS, that is in saturation, what we apply is VDS greater than VGS minus VT. By that time electric field is going to be greater than 10 power 4 volt per centimeter. So mu is directly proportional to 1 by electric field and drift velocity is mu into electric field. If electric field increases in the same proportion, mobility decreases. So the product is going to be maintained as constant. For large VDS, even VDS increases, electric field increases as usual, but velocity becomes constant. The velocity of charge carriers will become constant. Whenever velocity is constant, current density constant, current density constant, drain current becomes constant. So, even VDS increases, drain current is constant. All these things because velocity of minority carriers become saturated. That is the reason it is also called as, this saturation region is also called as velocity saturation region. Thank you.